NTSB chair Jennifer Hamadi broke the news with me that she will be making her first trip to East Palestine and Darlington Township at the end of the month and that the board's special field hearing on the train derailment will happen in June. Most derailments do not result in this type of um, terrible, terrible tragedy, thankfully. But, you know, it only takes one. That one derailment may just be East Palestine, the one that unfortunately devastates communities for decades to come, but possibly changes the future of railroad safety. Leading that push is the head of the NTSB, Chair Jennifer Homendy. This is a community that is suffering. This is not about politics. Who was unusually outspoken early on in the investigation of that night on February 3rd when a Norfolk Southern train derailed near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border and released toxic chemicals into the environment. The Oversight Board is now not just looking into this crash, but the company behind it. From our standpoint, five accidents within such a short period of time is a concern and possibly indicative of a greater safety culture problem throughout Norfolk Southern. And that's what we're going to take a look at. Since December 2021, the NTSB has sent investigative teams to five significant incidents involving Norfolk Southern, three of which occurred in the past month in Ohio. As a part of this special investigation, the board will also review an accident in Sandusky it hadn't looked into before. It's rare, and the only other time Hamdi remembers conducting this kind of investigation is 2013 after several accidents on Metro North. What we do as part of that investigation is really look at indicators of a more systemic problem within the company. At this time, she doesn't single out Norfolk Southern as a problemed company. What she worries about is whether their safety recommendations throughout the process, and once a final report is released, will move forward. But at the end of our re- our investigation, we have to make sure our recommendations are implemented and I don't want them forgotten about. And Tom and Dee doesn't believe it should take the bipartisan bill proposed in Congress to make it happen. It shouldn't take an act of Congress or a regulation. These companies can take action immediately and take action on their own without a mandate. Now, if there is one thing that Chair Hamadi wants those impacted by the derailment to know, it's that the board will not forget them and will fight for every single one of them, even after the final report is released. Reporting live in the studio, Lauren Linder, back to you.